Hello people, this is Barry from Barry Collector and today we're going to take a look at Evolving Skies. So, pretty much everyone is, is talking about it and um, I thought that, well, why not, uh, why not just say my take on it and do what no one else is doing and that is looking at both the American and the European market as we like to do here on the channel. So, yeah, we like to take a look at both what is going on in the US, usually by looking at DTG Player and sometimes eBay depending on what we need to look for and then also take a look at the European market, being myself in the EU, and that's basically the main character of this channel. So, as always, I mean, I've seen um, PokeTubers, Poke, you know, talking about Pokemon investing and that sort of uh, content, and they would uh, always, no matter if they were Americans, Canadians, British, or Australians, I've seen them all taking a look, showing CG player. Now, it is understandable as basically the, the main part of, of the population that is involved around Pokemon investing is from the US and Canada but uh, you know I don't I don't you know it I just I just let's just forget about it anyways what we're going to do here today is and I've taken some notes otherwise I forget what I have to say is basically we're going to take a look at supply and uh, we'd like to do that here on the channel and I'll show you some very interesting numbers of how many boxes there are available both in the European market and in the American market and then uh, we'll take a look at how these prices are moving and the difference between pricing in the European Union and the US and obviously why if you're American why you should care about it and then one other thing that I will mention later on, I'm just going to spoil the old video right now. So, Evolving Skies, in the US it is selling for pretty much south of $700, uh, kind of $700. These are all um, loose packs and you have to go to page number two to actually start to see some listings. And they are, uh, lowest list is $690, yeah, $690, $100 for the lowest listed on the American market. Whereas, as you probably already saw, in the European Union, lowest listed is 500 euros. Oh, again, if you're not familiar, all these prices do not include shipping. However, this seller does have zero feedback, so doesn't mean it's, it's gonna be a scam. Most likely it's not. Just, you know, it's always nice to buy it with someone with, with some sort of, uh, of feedbacks. So, and then they go for uh, as low 700 and they get into the thousands just like it happens for the European market. So, difference number one is it's quite visible D despite the exchange rate, which right now is a bit south of 1.1. Uh, so, one euro is about $1.09. Despite that, despite the exchange rate, prices in the EU are cheaper, they're lower than in the US. Well, well at, at this point, you can argue, well, better. I'm, I'm American, why should I care? Well, the simplest and m most obvious of reason is if you know someone in the EU who could get uh, their hands on Evolving Skies for maybe a bit below market price, 450, 470 euros, that's about 520, 530 dollars and they can ship it to you. You saved uh, quite some quite some money. Now, I, I understand it. it is an international shipping. It does come with risks, but it, it, it could save you quite, quite some money. So that's the most obvious reason I can think about it um, if, if you're American and uh, you say why should I care about the European market um, and obviously the, the, the more this price is going to increase and uh, if percentage wide the difference in price stays the same but obviously if price increases the actual the absolute value of the difference is going to be higher it's going to be greater so that's when you could carry even more like right now it could be $100 Six months could be 200, 300. We don't know. We'll, we'll we'll find out together. So that's number one. Then I guess we can after after saying saying that we can go straight into the the supply and uh, oopsie. Oh no, I didn't want to do that. So forgive me. Let's do this. Okay, so let's jump into the supply. Now, if you're new, first of all, welcome. Thanks for for clicking and uh, watching this far. So if you're not familiar, uh, we what we like to do here on the channel, or well, you know, it's a data-driven channel. We like to take a look at supply, and we do that uh, on a monthly video update. 
and uh, we just keep track of them on a spreadsheet. So if, if you're interested in that, uh, I'll link you to the latest video about it and uh, should be popping up top of my face. So you don't have to, to, to look at me the whole time. But uh, just focus on Volvis, guys. The last time I updated, well, unfortunately, was February 11th. And I only did that in the European market. And uh, back in, in February, we had 112 boxes. And now you have 56. So half the supply right now. And then you have 84 boxes below 500 euros. And now you have zero, if you remember. Zero boxes below uh, 500 euros. So that's quite interesting. That's only two months. Now, quickly, you have now you have... 112 boxes um, in the US, 16 cases in the US, and 13 cases in the European Union. So that's a look. I'll keep track of it from now on, but sure, I, th I, I thought it was interesting. As well, it, um, I'll show you another interesting thing in the European Union, and that is I took a screenshot of what was going on on March 14th. So that's March 14th, that's car market. The lowest listed was 449. And uh, at the end of the page, the highest list was 500. Now, the lowest list is 500, and uh, funny enough, it's the same seller. And uh, the end of the page, you have 700 euros. So in a week, that's quite a, quite a movement that, that happened. And uh, I thought that was quite interesting. Now, what is also interesting in, in the American market is uh, the, the volume. So... You have different sellers listing um, more than one box, multiple listings, already at the lowest lowest market price, so seven hundred dollars. Whereas in the U, if you want to pay uh, as little as possible, you don't really have many multiple listings; they're just single listings. So I think that's quite interesting. And what is even more interesting is this seller here, who has sixty boxes. That's the largest um, supply as of right now. And they um, listed it at fifteen hundred dollars, so I think that's quite interesting. Um, it just makes me wonder why would a seller list that many boxes at that price, so far off market price. I think I'm curious to know what you guys think. So please let me know down in the comments. But I think it's quite interesting because I mean, you're gonna sell those once supply gets bought out. S so let's say this right here, you have 60 boxes. And right here you have a price and that's 1500. So right now we were here, we have boxes at 700, at 700, or is my case, and you have um, demand here. So buyers and sellers right now, they meet at 700. You have listings here, but you have no one here. You have supply, you have zero demand here, or at least close to zero demand here. So obviously it, it moved, I mean, in the simplest of model, price, I mean, price is here. That's all different prices. That's right here. You have, um, again, supply, you have demand. Where they meet, you have market price. I say, I always say here on the channel, again, that's the simplest of model. So. Again, sim simply, in order for this to become market price, you have two options. I mean, it's really one. Supply here dries out. Either it gets all um, bought out or they just remove their listings, which I don't, I don't think they will, or they just move the prices higher. So if, in a way, if everyone right now would move from 700 to 1500, if everyone would do it in the US, and if if you do find you need one person to buy at 1500, you'll sell 1500, but you need to unlist everything below 1500, and uh, you'll be left out. That will become the new, uh, that's where supply is and uh, the moment you you find a buyer that starts to become the new market price again that's the simplest model um don't just get mad at me don't get upset it's, it's just the simplest model but in a way that that's kind of the work that's the same it works with uh, the stock market obviously 
um, let's say you have, uh, let's take Apple. You have Apple's at, uh, you have a million shares at $200. Um, dollars. Um, you know, it's usually called order book. That's you know, 200. Right now, market price 180. So if, if you have nothing here, you have no one, you have zero shares, you know, you're going to have to get to 200. And that's how price moves. That's why price uh, moves higher because that's where uh, demand meets supply. If if no one is willing to sell lower, and uh, again that's the simplest of model, but uh, that's kind of how it works in, in the simplest of models. Obviously, that's not uh, too realistic. We could isolate and try to make it as uh, I mean, never mind. I just forget about it. So yeah, I thought that was interesting. And I'm interested to know. I'm interested to know what you guys think about it. Now, let me take a look back at my notes. What else did I want to say? I mentioned okay, okay, okay. So now I'm going. I want to raise a question. So it is clear that evolving skies is cheaper in the U and in the U.S. But is it cheaper because it's lagging behind? Is it just you know, like let's say, does it have a one to one week to ten days delayed? compared to the US, does it follow what is happening in the American market? And if that's the case, is that going to happen with the other sets? Now, that's a question for you. One thing I want to show you is uh, Fusion Strike. Fusion Strike market price in the US right now, it is moved significantly higher, $230, you could say it's safely $230. In the U. Right now, you find it for as low as 150, and then usually you, you, you do have more uh, supply at 180, 180 to 185. So between 180 and 190 euros, which is it is lower than the American prices. Not that much, but it is lower. So does that mean that Future Strike is lagging behind and it's going to catch up? Does that mean if Evolving Skies is catching up, let's say in two weeks' time, Evo Skies? catches up to the American market, let's say they get to 600, 650, which after exchange rate is pretty much $700. Is that going to happen the same with, doesn't mean it's going to happen the same future strike. I think the answer is nobody knows. Uh, but I think it, it, it is an interesting point to, to, to think about and to, to, to reflect on. And as always, I'm curious to know what you guys think about it. So I think that that's pretty much it. Oh, last Last thing I want to say is, and um, I mean, it could be the start of uh, Sunday's video is, okay, Barrett, you, you show us the data, you show us the supply. We talked a bit about, uh, you know, how things in, in uh, the simplest of model, how they move, supply against demand. And, uh, but why is the volume sky is going up? And why is it already $700? Well, that's an interesting question. Is it FOMO? Is it what that it's just people realize it's just so good? Well, I say you guys let me know the questions. Oh, uh, sorry, you guys let me know in, in the comments uh, the answer to this question, and uh, I'll try to make a video about it. Um, as always, looking as much as possible at the data, showing some model of microeconomics, and then uh, see what 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 could be the answer. So. Thank you for watching. If you made it this far, I would highly appreciate if you would leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And if you want to see more, simply just hit the subscribe button. We're growing. I'm happy. And uh, as always, don't forget to join uh, the Discord. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.